lot of restaurants have good food, but for one to have several generations of loyal customers, well, there's got to be more to it than that. For more than 60 years, Wendell Smith's in West Nashville has been packed with people who love the food and the whole place itself. Now, to discover their secret of longevity, Rob Wiles paid a lunchtime visit. Johnny, what's up, buddy? Come on in. Be prepared to be here. greeted by name when you come into Wendell Smith's restaurant in West Nashville because Benji Cook is really good at remembering names, a skill he learned from his dad, Jakey Cook. Hi, girls. How you doing? Hi, how are you doing? You good, good to see, see you. you. Who learned it from his father-in-law, the Wendell Smith, who started this place in the early 1950s. He's a nice guy, good Episcopalian, hard worker, and he's, he was a good guy who asked Jakey to come to work here to give the regular employees a break. I came here in 58. I came in just to work for a short while to give his employees vacation. And 51 years later, I'm still here. <laughs> Over those years, Jakey has seen them all come into Wendell Smith's. You got all kinds of people oh, on the yeah, wall here. Yeah, Who yeah. you got? Well, we got Senator Henry over here. He's yeah, a, he's a neighbor and a good customer. Uh huh. And some guy. Does he eat a about, lot? The politicians they eat a lot. Oh yeah, they, they a lot of politicians. You know, they recognize a, a good deal when they see one. Uh -huh. and they, they come in. <laughs> <laughs> and they come in and trade with us. I hear they like pork a lot. Those politicians. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got all kinds of country stuff. I noticed you had, over here you had uh, had a, a Dolly Parton Dolly Park, on your yeah. wall. Uh, years ago, she did her show at WSM. Yes, uh -huh. up on the hill here, mm -hmm. and she would come by here about four thirty, five o'clock, and and, uh, and eat. Yeah, I would sit down and talk with her, and we'd talk about everything. She's from East Tennessee. Yeah, and and uh, Porter Wagner was on her show. I played golf in McCabe Field with him at that time. Yeah, and, and now when she's in town, she sends the windows and get her. A quarter of turnip greens. She still loves the turnip greens. She'll send somebody down here to get them? Send em. somebody to get them. I had not seen her in here in years. Of course, it's not just big stars and politicians who come here. We might have a, some outlaws that sit at this table. <laughs> and former Governor Winfield Dunn is a, my neighbor and friend. He eats with me a lot down here. So we've got uh, it's a pretty good melting pot. We've got a lot of different type of people. A lot of politicians. They come out. Uh, they come out and eat with us. Uh, Those are not the outlaws you were talking about. Well, <laughs> <laughs> give me a ton of green and a bowl, please. The customers aren't the only ones who seem to never leave Wendell Smith's. Most of the employees are long termers here. Now, take Darlene London, the head cook. Only the third head cook this place has had in about 60 years. She's still creating longtime favorites in the kitchen with some special Darlene details added. Basically, they just like the ones when I started, but I just said a little something extra, which I can't tell you that. I can't tell my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> now you wouldn't want to get then you would know how to cook. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, the things coming out of the kitchen are keeping the customers happy. <laughs> they like the food. Mr. Smith told me they remember the quality after they forget the price. Make sure it's good, and they'll come back. And I, I think that's a pretty good rule. A part of what makes the food so good here is that it's as fresh as possible. That's one of our secrets that my dad taught me to. We go out and I buy fresh Idaho potatoes, which, you know, they're shipped in, but we use all fresh we can, you know, fresh cabbage, squash sweet potatoes, turnip greens, we cook 30 to 40 bushels a week. With his dad, Jakey, mostly retired, Benji now runs the place, a job he's been groomed for, well, for quite a while. You know, at 12 years old, Saturday morning, I'd get the call at 6 a.m. and say, my dishwasher didn't show up, you're coming to work. <laughs> and uh, I'd get in and work from 6 to 3, and my dad would pay me $40 cash, and I'd go straight to Phillips Toy Mart and spend every nickel and owe, owe my mom some more when I was done. So all that theory about teaching the value of a dollar, that really didn't yeah. work out too well, did yeah. it? Yeah. 
I believe in keeping the economy going. <laughs> Benji loves the place, often even spending his days off here, so he can understand the popularity of the restaurant his grandfather started. Just like me being third generation, there's three generations of families that have been eating, you know, this little neighborhood eatery and these families, you know, they come in and they, man, I, I remember when my grandparents used to bring me in here when I was six and eight years old, you know, and just, you hear that all the time. And then not a day goes by that you don't hear people who come in and say, man, I've, I've been here 20 years. I never knew about this place. So you get everything around here, you know. This old place is kind of a landmark in West Nashville. Jakey summed it up like this. I just believed in uh, giving people good service and trying to be nice to people and recognize people and uh, treat them like you'd want to be treated. That's the way they've done it for more than half a century at Wendell Smith's in Nashville.